Greetings. Hello. Um, welcome. So let's go ahead and model or draw some of the exercises we're given in class. Okay, this is one that I've done. So we're going to redo it in this video. We model this one of the exercises, 3D exercises. So I'll open AutoCAD and then I'll start a new new drawing. Take a CAD ISO. Type units just to set up everything right to make sure my precision is zero. Okay, SI units millimeters, that's all right. And then from here, what else? I need to set up the dimensions. Modify dimensions. Okay, symbols, auto size 5, change that to 5. Text also 5. Primary unit precision 0. This is fine. Let me also change the standard as well to the same settings. Auto five text five precision zero, and that's about it. close this one now we're just about to ready sure. just about ready to draw just make sure I'm starting in top view and it's parallel that's all right okay good now I'm ready to draw just go to home these are the tools I want to see So, drawing this one. Okay, I'm seeing there's a circle of 80, diameter of 80, diameter of 50, and radius of 60. Okay, so we'll start with the center circles. Start there. The one of radius 60 diameter is 120, 60 times to 120. There was one of diameter 80. Press enter just to repeat the same command. Change diameter to 80. Enter for the same command. Uh, this one's diameter was 50. Type 50, press enter. Okay. And then, what else did we have? We had two more circles, well, four to be precise. There's one circle of 20 millimeter diameter and the other one of radius 25 on either side. Okay, located 100 from the center. Cool. So, circle. Work with me. Moving 100, press enter, diameter 20, enter one more, radius 25, therefore diameter is 50. 
for this one. Okay, just press your down arrow key on your keyboard to change between radius and diameter. So our diameter is 50 here. Press enter, then type 50. Just mirror this one to the other side. Use the mirror command. I place this here. Activate the orthogonal. Okay, I'll mirror this to the other side. Type mirror. Choose the first one. And I uh, want you to mirror across this. Now do not erase the original object. Okay. Right, I won't delete this one because I might still need to use it later on. Just erase it for now. Erase it. What's next? Two hundred. Okay, there's a tangent line from the from this circle to the. Just click on the quadrant there. Yeah, tangent right there. That's exactly where I want it. And I'll go back here. Click that line. And then just move it. See if it will find a tangent somewhere. Yes. That's the tangent. Exactly. That's where I want it. So now I just mirror it to the bottom. Mirror. Okay, before I mirror, let me just have these lines. be useful in me in executing the mirror command okay so mirror mirror which object select the object to mirror press enter then I want to mirror it in this direction so that's the starting point of mirroring the what the mirroring plane or the line that I'm using for, for mirror for the mirror command and then do you want to erase the object source object nope press enter there you have your mirror the object okay what else yeah I want to mirror this side also to the other side press enter to repeat the same mirror command this one and that one Enter and that nope do not erase. So this one can now be erased. Trim. This one, trim that one, trim this one, and trim that one. Cool. And voila, we have 
the first well, we have we have the we have the top view so now we just have to press pull it at what thickness okay thickness for the base is 20 but then I'll just press pull it up by 10 and then reflect it or mirror it in the other direction Click shift and hold your roller on your mouse and then you're able to rotate. Okay. Press pull. Exactly like that. Wait, let me change this. Change from 2D wireframe to shaded and then press pull it you can press pull it from here if you like you go to solids and then find the press pull command ok extrude it by 10 and then still press pull it This is supposed to be 65, but since we're starting at starting at the same point as as what as the base, we need to add 10 to 65, so this will go to 75. So this will be 75, 65 plus 10, 75. objects this one and this one to do that is the union command press enter and the objects are combined that's exactly what I wanted now I'll mirror where's the 3d mirror and just tab mirror command and then use 3d mirror click the object select enter ok in which plane specify point of mirror plane ok if I want then mirror it ok I want to mirror it in this this plane in the y x plan ok delete all subject no and there you have it you can also use the the three point mirror command that's uh, taught us in class it also works it will give you the same result just combine let me combine the objects union this one and that one so now we have it as one object okay cool I'll hide this hide object so I can erase this one then right click go to isolate and then end object isolation from here I'm done with, with my modeling all I have to do is just take out to take it to the layout page the layout page don't need this we don't need two layers so delete the other one yeah that's okay so let me right click 
setup modify can I change this to drawing to PDF PC3 and then change this to ACAD CTB display plots ISO A3420297 this is exactly what you want this is exactly what we want the scale is 1 to 1 make sure the scale is 1 to 1 then we are good to go click ok close page modified now for the page borders enter 0 press tab 0 because which this is just specifying the first corner and then press enter 420 where am I that's a mistake tab tab let me just repeat the command 0 press tab 0 enter the weight highlighted should be 420 by 297 297 all right enter then offset by 15 millimeters so we get 11 offset by 11 and uh, offset this one half of 170 half of 140 is 70 so offset in this direction by 70 and uh, trim then offset again by one millimeters offset by turn from there that's 10 so offset by 10 okay and then for now I'll just give you a generic or generic information of the details you need to place in your title block so I'll go to annotate multi multi text first corner point of a text box and this is less okay choose the boundaries and then enter this is where you type the title or the name of your model your drawing Suppose this is supposed to be seven, so I'll change it to seven. There. Hmm. Can't see anything. Okay, let's. This is. Zero. Let's make it seven. Okay. Other one was 
as annotation let's also change it to 7 was ok so let's see let's try that again shall we title there we go center close this is where your name should be placed centered close that one press enter to repeat the same command this is where your scale belongs in this boundary normally the scale is one to one student number center and then finally that and center the dead as well Just also one final thing here. Just make sure these guys are centered. Like they're in the middle between the, the, the spaces. So do that. Just move it until you are happy. Move it, move them, move command, using the move command, press enter, select buzz, until you are happy with what you see, just eyeball it, select enter, center point, eyeball it, that looks ok, move command, enter, center, I ball it, that looks fine. Alright. Because so I'm assuming you are entering your details here. Alright. So our layout is done and prepared. Now let's bring our drawing to the layout for printing and so on. To do that, type in view base. Base. enter model space select the object you want to get to your layout then press enter is to ask you enter new or existing layout name to make current to make current or I uh, just take a uh, take the one which is the layout one it's, it's fine one to two is the scale let's see if we can change the scale one to one how does it look like okay one to one is it's big so one to two is okay scale in this case is one to two click click once okay that looks all right and then Click OK if 
you are happy with what you see and then well just drag your mouse to wherever you want it to go but in this case drag it down for the top view front view is already here now top view you just move it place it exactly to the location you are happy with I'll place it press mine here then left to right side view place this one here and then place this one right down there then once you are done press enter it generates all the lines that are needed your visible line your hidden lines and, and everything yeah except that it doesn't dimension it for you so come to uh, isometric click your isomet highlight isometric view and then edit the view so change visibility to visible lines then say ok if you want you can leave it like this I don't want it like this I want it to be realistic or to be shaded so edit the view and then change it say shaded with visible lines ok I'm happy with this one ok just move it a bit here move it this side alright but now I can I can draw all the lines that I want the center lines because this is missing center lines to draw the center line I go to layers and then I say layer, click on layer properties so there is no center line AutoCAD did not generate the center line that's fine just come here and say new layer I call it center line C L for short center line change the color to, to red change it from continuous to center where is center hmm. ok I can always load the center line center line times 2 ok and I'll check that one ok line weight change it to 0 0.3 not cool I'm happy now we draw our center lines try something come here say center mark ok center mark center mark oh ok can use this too enter uh, then change these lines the line go to home go to layout drop down CL that's what I want to see center lines ok I can also 
There's a center line here. Got to annotate that center line between these two. Because this is a hole. So that's a center line. And try to repeat the command. That's also a hole. Center line. Repeat the command. Center line here. Yeah. This one, center line, center line, and change it to the center line we created. Where is that? at home, drop down, center line, okay, it looks nice, doesn't it, yep, it does, now we can dimensions, but before we do that, let's get a section view, go to layout, section okay, we'll take full section yeah just take full section on section this object top view from where we'll start just from here and we'll end section plan alright excellent that's oh boy space is not enough so if I can change it to 1 to 4 slightly down it's too small okay move this one up up a bit let's see if I can change this car one to two scale is 1 to 2 now and we are not very good with space here I'm squeezing things here oh boy ok ok Just need to wait for AutoCAD to respond.
Iya, welcome back. So, untuk ke crashed and I had to, I tried to restart over, but luckily I had this other drawing similar to the other one, so we'll just finish off using this one. I'm just setting up, setting up the units. Ladders can use standards. Double click and then times two. Dimension. 
attention This is not the standard annotative is according to standard so use annotation just yes, looks much better. So yeah, with dimensioning, this is how you dimension. Let's stop your dimensioning. Now I'll show you how to print the layout. Just type print. And then click on select print layout. select window select your inner window or inner borders from one end of the corner to the other opposite corner select center the plot very important that you do that make sure your scale is one to one and then from here onwards you can preview it Preview shows you how your printed layout will look like once it's printed out. So this is how it will look like. I'm happy with this. So I can just go ahead from here and say print. Once you print, it's, it asks you where do you want to save your printed layout. And this printed layout is what we submit on Blackboard. So it's, it's a PDF document. So I just make sure you know where you are saving it. You can save it on a desktop, on a desktop or in a document. Just in the folder that you know you will not forget. So I'll name it drawing 5.1 layout 1. In your case it will be your student number, your initial and yeah just follow the template the lecture has given us I'll save that and then there we go we have your PDF printed layout so that's how it's done guys